Hey guys, it's King Rebel coming to you guys with another video. So yesterday when I did my live, I thought that was going to be my last video on this story going around that Krishan is a snitch, she's a informant, she's a rat, allegedly, right? I did my breakdown where I showed where Ronnie explained, where Ronnie explained and said he was the one that did the unaliving. He pulled his friend on the live, he said, tell him where did I get him? The friend said, in the head. He said, how many times? He said, twice. He said, what was Shadi doing? She was there kneeling down, crying or whatever, praying or whatever he said she was doing, right? So he confessed to that. He confessed to that. I even showed a snippet of where she was saying, when she was on an interview on, I think it's Zaza's TV, where she said, oh, when I on a live somebody then she caught herself and she said my ex on a live somebody right so and i'm again i'm going from my research to what i'm hearing so i was done with that and then a couple of my supporters said oh hey go check out so and so's youtube page and i believe it's becoming lex becoming queen lex or something to that effect if i mess it up my apologies and i went and i watched like three four of her videos maybe five because sometimes i'm up late doing nothing because I can't sleep early sometimes. And sometimes I wake up too early. So I was checking out her videos. Good content, of course. She's, you know, she goes through her stuff. And I was looking at it. And then I looked at her stories. And then I have more questions. Because remember when I did the, if you seen the live yesterday, I said, okay, I went. And I know this story was broke by Captain for, Captain for Likes. So I know, and I gave her her flowers for that. I was like, if she's doing her thing, you know, nobody can say she's lying because if you weren't there, you don't know if she got the story or not. You know, you can't tell somebody. I if I did if like I said, if I did the research on a story, I would hate for somebody to come and say, "Oh, I'm lying, I'm lying," when you don't know if I'm lying or not. So I don't understand why people are saying she's she's making it up or whatever. But then again, here we go. It's the world of people want to believe what they want to believe. My thing is just do your own research then if you don't believe her or just do your own research to come up to your own conclusion and go from that. And you don't have to go through it because you don't know. You don't know. What if this person is lying to her? It might not necessarily be she's lying. And I'm not saying they're lying to her either. I'm just saying people have to think beyond the box. I get it. But nobody want to think it's a microwave era we're in where people just want stuff fast and shove down their throat, right? So I'm looking at Lex's videos and now I have more questions. I was like, oh gosh, no, I thought I was done with this story. And I saw Captain for likes. Um, she wrote some stuff on her page and, you know, I guess people are bothering her still about the story, saying she's making up whatever, whatever. And like I said, I understand her frustration. If she did get the information, you cannot say that she's lying. Whether you think she likes the girl or not, everybody don't lie just because they don't like somebody. Everybody don't hate because they decide what somebody does. So um, I sit down and I know, got with one of my friends and I said, okay, we got to break this down. So my friend explained to me, he's like, when you're an informant, when you're an informant, he said, you have to, you have to admit to the guilt of whatever crime you did. So if they unalive this person, and I'm going to go with Ronnie for now, right? For the sake of this story, I'm telling you, if Ronnie said he unalive this man, right? So Ronnie have to give a full confession that he unalive this man and that he's guilty and sign that confession. Boom. For him to be an informant, no, we have this on you. You said you did this. So you're going to work for us. And if you don't work for us to do what we want you to do, we will charge you for this. Right? Boom, bam, bim. Got it. I understood that. That was clear as day. So now let's play devil's advocate here because... I get questions and why not? <laughs> so if you listen to the story that that um they told, he on a lot of the guy with two pop pop in the head in the cranium, right? Okay. So when they when they left, because them and Krishan separated from the way the story is being told. When did she get, when did Krishan get to tell? Where did Krishan go? How did she know who to tell to? Um, they skipped the part. Like after they did that to old boy, why did they separate, right? All right. When the police came and Krishan told them who it was, why was it so easy for them to find? And then when you listen to the captain, captain for like um, some of the audio from the person she's playing, the video, the audio that's being played that she plays on her page. The guy said there was a witness, right? 
there was a witness that said something about the Malone girl and whatever. So, okay, so let's say a witness saw Krishan, right? Krishan's going to say, okay, I did not pow pow. The, okay, if the witness said they saw Krishan do it, and the police come and said, okay, this witness said they saw you do this. But she come and she said, no, it's not me. It's my boyfriend. So they find them and they pick them up. Because it wasn't the two of them that did it, but both of them got arrested, right? But I guess when you're with somebody, you could charge for accessory, right? So they both got arrested, according to the story old boy was telling. So if, if she choose to, if she's already telling, boom, the police is here, I'm telling, he did it. No, it wasn't no pressure. Boom, he tell it. Why did she get a deal if he got a deal? Why did they both need to get a deal? Because if she's saying he did it, okay, you could go. I don't need you. You're saying you did it. He signed off that he did it. What do I need her as an informant for? That is one of my questions. I, why do I need two informant? If, because... One of the person got in my comment and said they were saying that Ronnie had connects to big, large um, pharmaceutical dealers in California, right? So why do I need her if he has links? Why do I need to have her sign a deal? What is she bringing to the table? Here comes another question. They said, okay, they needed Krishan to get close to Blue's, somebody in Blue's camp. Then here come more questions. If you need her to be, and if you have any ideas, please put them in the comments. Because like I said, the more I look at this stuff, the more questions came up. And I'm not saying anybody's lying. I said, I have questions. So I'm looking at it. Okay, so she she he gets put away for what, a couple months because they dismissed all the charges. Um, they didn't, according to the story, they didn't want her name in the California database. Her name is already in the California database for the lawsuits, right? Her name in in California based for what? How many are the lawsuits? Three or four of her lawsuits are California based. So I don't know how that kind of helped out. So I'm sitting there and I'm trying to figure out what was her purpose. So then the story came back to, oh, they want her to get close to Blueface people, somebody's Blueface team. Well, how were you sure that was going to work? How would you put her in line with Blueface people? Who would be the connect to say, okay, we need you with this guy so that you could get close to this group so that you could let us know about this, that, and third, right? How did they know that she was going to get chosen for Blue Girls Club? What if she wasn't chosen? What if, she, I mean, there's so much what if she got in there. What if he ha- if he was just like any regular dude that he didn't quit and put her out or he didn't get close. You know, what if he did not get a likings for her? How how were they sure that was going to work? Because it was like she was a young girl that came there. You know how you, when you're young, you're a real small frame. It wasn't like she came with body and she, yes, she had looks, but she didn't come with body where you could be like, okay. She a bad little, you know, and not the song, but just, just you know, she a bad one. So how did they know that she would be able to infiltrate his camp? And if she's been around for four years or three, four years, how come she hasn't infiltrated the camp yet? Who is camp yet? Who is it that she's supposed to be in there for? And I get, and I know I won't know the answer to that question. And if and if she tried to set him up with Ronnie. Because we're missing the part. Remember, there's a play play when she got her teeth knocked out. She decided to set Ronnie up to come and rob Blue. If that had went down, how it was supposed to go down, how did that help her being an informant? How did that help her being a rat? We know she likes to talk. She talks, she records, she talks, she records. That's a childish mentality to have. It could also, on the other flip side, you could be like, oh, she's just trained to be a rat because that's what they do, keep information, right? Which it could go both ways. But like, if we're saying that this is where she went in for, then why did she want to set him up to get robbed, allegedly hurt, and or be unalived? How did she know this was going to work out in her benefit? And I hear people are saying, oh, this is the reason why nobody has, nothing is going on with her lawsuit. We if you guys are not familiar with lawsuit, because you're talking to somebody that's been through them, it's not an overnight thing. The fact that it's filed, and I'm talking about the lawsuit. I'm not talking about warrants now. The lawsuit, 
they get filed now, it could take maybe two, three and a half years, four years before that is settled. Because remember, those are lost, those are civil and those are payout lawsuits. Those are not the only one that is criminal is the one with James that the state picked up. That's the only one that the state picked up. So I don't understand why people are saying, oh, it's evidence because the, how she get away with lawsuit. She has to go through the process with the lawsuit. The one with Zeus, I looked at the paperwork. She did not have an attorney on that one. She did not have an attorney on that one. And I get it. People are saying that she, and, and let me first say this. I'm not a street person. I'm not a street nigga, right? Me and my friends, well, something happened. My friends popped it off, let the blicky ring off. The police catch us. If them hoes or niggas don't tell, you think I'm not going to tell? I'm going to tell. I'm going to sing like a canary bird. You hear me? I'm going to sing like a toucan, Sam. I'm going to sing like a hummingbird. I'm going to sing like the fucking parrot. I will tell because I'm not a street person. If we're going by, if you look at Ronnie's record, he has a record in in Maryland. I will show you that at the end of my commentary. He has a record. Krishan has a record as well. She has a record that's been concealed in Maryland for burglary. It's not a guess. Um, it was burglary and something else. I think right before she went to California, between 19... I think she was like 1918 when that happened. I looked at the paperwork and I forgot. She has that on her. But it was sealed. Now, that's in Maryland. She has the case for position in Maryland that's not sealed, right? So, if you're looking at all of this and I'm having questions, right off the bat, the lawsuits, the one that James filed, the girl from Black Mafia, the other one from the hairstylist and the other girl or whoever from Azus or whatever, the three or four those have to go through the process, and she has a judgment has to go against her for that to even, to, for that to even for you to even say, oh well, that's not going to happen because, um, what because she's an informant? No, I don't think that's how that works. That's on my part. That was explained to me. That has to go through. That has not a lawsuit for money is not going to put her in jail. That has not, they don't have to intercede. They don't have to step in with that. That has nothing to do with anything, right? The warrant in the warrants that she has. Okay, let's play the advocate and say, okay, she's an informant. They're going to make her warrants go away. Okay, they make her warrants go away. Is she, are they going to keep on making her warrants go away? Because if she's not bringing no information to them, the only person that got knocked in Blue's camp was Blue. The only person that got picked up in anything was Blue. From what we knew, um, D-Lo or Diplo... He was locked up. I think he's still locked up. I don't know if she had information on him or that was part of her deal. I don't know. So I'm trying to say that I'm not saying it's a lie. I'm saying I have more questions. Golly. So when I look at the story, then I go on to walk. Walk like to expose people. If you go to Clubhouse, if you listen to Clubhouse shenanigans, Wack likes to expose people. Wack has access to attorneys. They have access to paperwork on snitches. Why wouldn't they find out if she's on paper? Because everybody, everything has a price. Everything. I don't care what nobody says. Everything has a price. So with this circulating, don't you think Wack and them will try and uncover if she ha- is on paper? Because I also piece in my life. 1090 Jake said Blueface reached out to him to find out about the unalivement of the dude, but he couldn't find out anything. Well, actually, to find out that she's a snitch, but he couldn't find out anything. So, what if it's Quran that's on paper and not her? And everybody's making it seem like, well, let me call him by his AKA. What if it's Ronnie that is on, on paperwork and not her? What you know, remember when I said I'm the one that pushed her to you. I'm the one that she, you didn't take my girl, I'm the one that pushed her to you. What if he's the one that's on paperwork and everybody's assuming they both are? And again, I don't know, I'm asking questions because and how come what can't find out if this girl is on paper? They have big money, they have big attorneys, they definitely can find that out. They definitely can find that out. So, that is something that. Instead of speculating, that is something that they could un, un that they could 
bust that wide open. Also, I saw people are comparing the pictures of the baby with his other kids with him. And again, I will stand ten toes on my soapbox and tell you, looks are subjective. Looks are subjective. Here's why. Example. If you see a guy with a, or you see a nerdy looking guy with a bad girl and you be like, okay, she's only with him for money, right? And maybe he might look like a nerd to you, but something about him ooze attractiveness or something about him that is so great that it's it's within him. Because when something is in you, it's in you. Like that craziness, that laziness that's in Krishan, it's in her. It's not on her. It's in her. So when something is in you, it's in you. So you'll be looking at it, man, how did he get her? Or how did she get him? Or you'll be like, oh, they're an odd couple. Or okay, big example, Jay-Z and Beyonce. People always say, oh, how did she get him? How did he get her? Whatever, whatever. Looks are subjective. What he might look, he might look ugly to a lot of people. Or like they call him Camille, but she, he might look like money to her. Like it looks are really subjective. So the part with the baby... Oh, does he look like Javon? Does he look like Journey? Does he look like Blue? The Krishan could, I mean, a lot of the stuff could go away and she does not have to prove anything to anybody. I will always say that. A DNA test will suffice because you cannot convince me that Blue did a, if Blue was partying that night, because she said he came from Pitt House or somewhere and he came to her house drinking, he crashed the car, right? If Blue was drinking that night, do you really think Blue had time to go swab that baby? Do I mean, this Negro, you really think this Negro was like, oh, I'm going to go take the baby out of her house and I will swab him. When he could be at her house, she could use the bathroom and he could have swabbed the baby anytime he was at the house. Why was it at four o'clock in the morning that he swabbed the baby? He said that because she tells Jaden stuff and he wanted to hurt her feelings. He said that he stood out. He kept saying it even when he texted her when she wanted to come over and she showed the text and he said, this scientific proven it's not my child. Maybe the baby was swapped before then, but I don't think the baby was swapped at four in the morning. That I don't think. Mm, that He's not giving that. When did he swap him? When she came and met them and they drove off to his place. When did he swap the baby? And then I see people arguing about, oh, she did not put the navel, the um, long needle in her belly button. You know, there are other tests. They, they literally can do swab in his mouth and draw her blood and separate the baby. You know, they can do it right through the blood and not necessarily through the needle because uh, people are just going through all this stuff. I'm not a fan of the stuff that Krishan does, but also I'm not going to sit here and act like there's certain things that don't make sense to me. And this is only to me. And if it makes sense to you, that's fine. I'm not trying to confuse anybody. I'm saying the more I look at this stuff, the more it's confusing to me. Now, if you want to sit here and say, oh, yeah, maybe Ronnie, who the deal would have benefited more? Maybe Ronnie. Who did they talk and tell Ronnie to get her close to Blue and them? Maybe Ronnie. Maybe all of this does add up to Ronnie. Again, I don't know. I'm just saying, because he did say, I pushed her to you. I gave her to you. But she also wanted to set him up. Now, was she sleeping with Ronnie back and forth? I don't know. I really can't say. If I was not in a room with her, or like I said, just like with the office set thing, I don't think she just said that to piss Blue out because she does things to piss him off. I don't believe her and Offset had anything. I really don't. So I can't say that for her, Ronnie. I don't know. I just think that. I don't think... Asset. I mean, just because you cheat doesn't mean you cheat with everything. <laughs> That's my point, right? If she messes with Ronnie, well, what would have been that would have been more understandable because her, the way how her and him and Blue, how they broke up. Okay, he got in a situation. She went to him. All of a sudden, she's in love with Blue, dead over heels in love with Blue, and just forgot Ronnie. But he he was there for her. She texted. She talked about the story that they used to fight. He used to take perk. You know. You know, so she just forgot about him just like that by the snip of, step of an eye. Boom. Blue face came and she said, uh, F Ronnie, that makes sense to anybody. I don't know. it, Because it, how the hell is easier for you to get over Ronnie in a couple of months, but it's hard for you to get over Blue. That I didn't get. Like you were with him, but this guy, you over there doing the most, but you just met him. So was it, was it your intention was to stick around because you, you, you and Ronnie had a plan to get stuff off of him. 
again, these are questions. This doesn't mean that I'm telling the truth. It doesn't mean that the next person is not saying the truth by saying she's a rat. I am asking questions because for you to for me to understand that she was sent there for Blue's team to for somebody's Blue camp mean that they would have had to be sure that it was going to stick, that she was going to stay in that house. She was going to be around them. She was going to get to the right person and everything was going to be copacetic. It was going to work out for the bit, better good of what they had planned. As far as her lawsuits and her warrants, we will see. Because at the end of the day, how long is it? Is, is she going to keep doing stuff? Or is she going to keep hiding? Is she going to keep doing stuff? Is she going to, are they going to keep cleaning up her mess? Because a lot of the time when you're an informant, they don't clean up all your messes. That's not how that works. It's not all your messes get cleaned up away. Some of the messes you take with you. Now, again, if she is or isn't, I don't know. I'm telling you, I have more questions than when I started. And I hope I don't have it anymore. But I understand what people are saying. If you listen to the story, the guy is telling, you understand it. But then again, it's still he says, she said. Now, look at it from this side. Let's say everything they said happened is true. And they explained it to the policeman. And she said, oh, yeah, oh boy was trying to do S.A. me. And he stopped it, even though it might not be true. That might have been their story. And they could prove that he did try to S.A. her and she corroborated that story. Then the person the person that was there said, oh, they only saw this, that, and third. It will be their story against that person's story against the evidence, Right. It will still have to be against the evidence. They still have to collect evidence. So I know I heard they said that the police didn't do certain things. Certain things wasn't, again, I wasn't there. I don't know. That was four, what, four years ago, five years ago, 19, 2019, yeah, five years ago. I mean, when you lose somebody, somebody, you're upset, and you believe if they're not doing certain things or if you're sitting there and people are telling you, oh, I don't think this is that because why would this happen and why would it, you know, again, don't know. I'm asking. I'm not saying she's innocent. I'm not saying Ronnie's innocent. I'm asking because I have questions about it. If they put, why, why can they need to just find the paperwork? They need to get their attorney for, to find the paperwork. And if she's there to set them up, then he's worse off than he started because he had a baby with somebody that meant him no good. So he's kind of stuck, stuck. And if the baby is not his, he might want to do the paternity test because he needs to get on his tug, tug, his tis naive, really and truly. But again, I understand everybody. I understand half don't believe, the other half believes. Um, people are coming up with different stuff and it's making sense to them and all that. And I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I just said I have questions. I'm not saying nobody's lying. Those were my questions. So while I was looking through my, scrolling through my thing, I remember somebody told me Charity and her ex, her on a live baby father, sister was going through it. They were on Instagram going through it. And by the time I got to it, her Instagram was gone. And I was like, well, did she block me? But I guess she took her Instagram off because the sister, her her boyfriend, her on a live boyfriend, sister, accused her of being mad with Krishan when she was in California at the time because Krishan wouldn't give her no money and she was going to have Krishan set up and robbed, right? Do I believe it? Of course. See, you see how easy for me to believe what I want to believe? I ain't shit, right? No, I'm just kidding. I believe it. Charity looks like it's all she wants is for you to give her things. She doesn't seem like she want to work for anything. Like I tell you, when she start bigging up Tasiki on her page, I feel I see this bullshit. It's like you feel entitled, but you don't want to get up, take your pussy up off the ground and go work. She need to take her pussy up off the ground and go work. If you get God give you a third chance with a child, you need to do better, boo. You need to do better. Sitting there and wanting them to fend for you is not right. And you're talking to somebody that's 10 of 10. There's 10 of us. I'm number 10. So I get it. And I'm the one that sometimes I'd be looking at my older siblings like, what the hell? Like, why? Like, if, mostly they'll call me, oh, can you, can you, can I, can I, do you have, do you have? I know how that feels. And I'd be looking at them like, I can't ask you all for shit, but it's always me, 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 me. When can I go and say, can I get and can I? So I believe charity isn't shit. I will stand on that. 
on my soapbox and continue to say that. And then she, I guess she was mad to the point that people was probably calling her out because the girl said her brother told him he was going to leave her when he got back because she want, she, he was sad of her stupidness and she wanted to rob her sister. I was like, oh, oh, okay, I believe that. She's messy. I believe that. So I think she took her Instagram off for a while to let that die out. Because she was throwing shit, and I'm like, you're pregnant. Why can't you sit in your pregnancy in peace and stop arguing? But because she keeps poking that girl and poking that girl, she's grieving about her brother. Regardless that you love him, love him, love him, she's still grieving about her brother. And I know some people will not agree with me, and it's whatever it is. But like I said, I've watched cha- charity behavior, and she's not for nobody but for self. She's not for nobody but herself because all it seems like she does is beg and try to guilt people. And then somebody was saying, oh, they can't wait for her to tell on Tzatziki because she has all the stories. I'm like, and then they, they want to bring up about Ryan, the, the dude that was with her when she was in, what, ninth and grade? And I'm like, y'all still on that? Y'all still on that? I'm telling you, I know he probably look at Tzatziki every day and be like, I chose the right sister. And I'm not even for that fuck shit. I don't believe, I, I don't believe in looking at your dude and be like, oh, I wonder what it's like. I'm, I'm not the type of girl. We will never have the same taste because sometimes I don't even want the husband that I bought and paid for. You hear me? I'd be like, mm, if I could find the receipt, I'll take him back too. <laughs> Just kidding. I tell my kids that all the time though. I'll be like, and then my kids will be like, we don't feel sorry for you. You married to her. And I'll be like, if I could find a receipt for this guy, boy, back he goes. But I say all that to say, then she was talking about, because this is what I wanted to get to. She was saying, oh, her brother told him that she, um, Charity told them that they should cut their blood and write and say some prayer that their mama teach them. So then it makes me wonder when people are talking about Krishan and them are into, um, voodoo, we call it, or obia, or, you know, I think, um, Hispanic people call it Santaria or whatever. But at the same time, witchcraft, Big, Big Linda was saying the same thing about China. She said China had old boys shoes or something under her bed. They're into that shit. And that's why they have no fucking peace. You cannot force somebody to stay with you. You won't have no peace. Who the hell want to do blood ritual to stay with a Negro? Girl, you don't even want them willingly. Why would you want them forcefully? These hoes don't have no self-respect. So I think that's why. She, and you haven't heard me say anything about charity. Because I think she disabled her Instagram. She might be back on. I haven't gone and checked for her. Because I think a lot of people have caught on that charity just be begging. I remember I was watching one I was watching one of the YouTubers this morning. She was like, she kind of lose interest with her because she would be begging. And that's why I call her charity. She literally just begs. And she has no morals. And she'd be playing in the fans' faces talking about, yes, because I take care of Sean. And she's my sister. And I shouldn't. Bitch, please. Go get that. You a job. Let me see you get that application and fill it out, ho. Let me see you go look for a job you raggedy ass bitch so no i'm not a charity fan um they were still dragging to seeky because people were looking at the video where she posted that she said fun facts she could have did pro football and then i saw people were dragging her in one of the youtube's comment talking about she want to be christian she want to be christian y'all gonna have to let that hurt go if I was first, there's no way I want to be after nobody. Secondly, when you grow up together, it seemed like they all play football. That's what everybody's missing. The oldest brother talked about football. His son is in football. Terrence. Terrence is in football. I guess if you talk to Mookie and Eugene, if they weren't in the streets, in, the, in housing, in the federal state, they probably would have been doing football too. I know UCPD was doing it. Krishan said she was doing it. I was like, y'all be hating on Tasiki and Tasiki don't even be bothering nobody. If y'all don't let that girl live, if she's seven years older than Krishan, of course she probably was playing football with her other siblings. That's all they probably could have did to have some fun time to play with each other, go in the backyard and play football and learn how to play ball. So I don't get why people keep saying that girl want to be her sister. Like, let that girl be herself. And if if she want to be like that, maybe their mother did like I did with my two. My daughters were dressed the same. People used to call them, oh, they're twins, which in my doctor called them. She used to call them some kind of weird shit. My kids are like, um, my kids are like, well, let me not even discuss them because then I'll go down a store, a rabbit hole of my whole, own life. But again, I used to just my t- Girls like their twins, so they had the same outfit until they were tired. So I don't see why um, P 
people pick and choose that her, her and Krishan and the rest of them won't pick something off of each other. They were housed together for a while. Plus, she was living with her sister. So I don't see that point. But I did want to adjust the charity thing. Um, is there anything else I have? If you guys have any questions in the comment. Oh, I wanted to talk and before I go. I wanted to talk about Kyla Pratt. She was talking about when she was pregnant and she was going in labor and the nurse told her no. And she told her, get my doctor, I'm in labor. And then because the machine didn't show it. And she said, because I know my body. I, when my doctor came, he was like, I was at six centimeter. And she's like, because she knew they wouldn't listen to her because she was black, because she was a female. And, you know, she was who she was. And I, and I get what she's saying. And when she's speaking like that, like you really have to advocate for yourself or you really have to have a nurse that advocates for you. Like I really try to educate my patient or their family. Like people kind of, when I work with people and I'm going through something, I'm in pain. True story. I had my wisdom teeth taken out when I was working. I had three taken out at one time, right? And I went to work. And for some reason, I didn't take my pills. And them pain kicked the fuck out of me. So one of the nurses was like, hey, I know you're in pain. Do you want some pills? I was like, what pills? She's like, I got some codeine. I said, girl, please. I will tell you something about me. I don't take drugs from people. I don't take drinks from people. I don't even try to eat from people. That That is not me. And if you give me food, I'll probably take it and I probably won't eat it. And it's nothing, it's nothing against you. It's just the fact that if I work with you and I see you don't wash your hand, or if I work with you and I see that mm, you would pass meds or you'd be doing stuff and you you do like you go like at least two hours and don't wash your hands, it's a no for me, dog. I can't do it. And this particular nurse, she had a thing where, and no disrespect to nobody, she was different color from me, different culture. And she sat and one day she was like, she had a infection. She had a STI, right? And she said she had it for two months and she smelled and she didn't go to the doctor I was like, bitch, please. If my vagina itch me one time, I'm losing my shit. What? Two months. I was like, mm -mm. see, you can't give me nothing. How the hell you go to two months with your vagina smelling like shit, hell, and high water? How? I would have been losing my freaking mind. So when I see nurses like that, they won't even do for themselves. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you can't do nothing for me. She was like, you want a pill? Nope. Don't want nothing from you. I don't want nothing, nigga. You didn't want to take care of you. How the fuck are you going to take care of me? And I always tell people, see how people are with themselves, and that will tell you how they will deal with you. I don't care. But I kind of straight off at the point, but I'm saying, I try to educate people like when, you, when I'm on the floor, I stay on that educational purpose. And if you talk to me on this internet like this, you'll be like, she ain't shit. That is not true. That is just this persona that I put on here, which is still part of who I am. It's part of who I am, but it's not like that's not the working part of me. This is just me, my entertainment side. And it's it's a little bit of weird whack, but, you know, for the most part, like when I'm in my thing, when I'm in my when I'm in my bag, when I'm in my field, I'm great at it. Like I always say, if you've listened to my videos you know, I, I pats myself on the back. I give myself my flowers because I'm her. I'm really that girl. So um, that was good of her to advocate for herself. It's hard when you go into the hospital and people don't take you seriously. Or if you don't know your body, think you don't know your body. Um, that's why for me, most of the time I try to eat clean. I try to eat clean. I try to stay on top of my health. I try to monitor my blood pressure. I try to make, and I don't have blood pressure problems. I don't have blood pressure. I don't have cholesterol. I don't take medication for anything more than a while. I'll take vitamins. I try to eat like um, my husband makes a ginger drink that I drink all the time. Um, I drink a lot of water. I try to eat less meat unless he cooks some jerk chicken or he makes some um, oxtail. Because if you know, you know, my husband is Jamaican. So he'd be doing all that here. Um, then I'll get into it. I don't eat out a lot because why would I? This guy cooks. That's what he does. And he's great at it. So uh, then I'm picky because if I go somewhere and we get the food, I'm like, well, it doesn't taste like him. Some kind of like he's some kind of bass and annoying. But <laughs> so I'm not a big eat out person. I don't I'm not into steaks and I'm not into all of that foolishness. And before I get off here, but I'm very 
good at making sure I monitor myself because I don't want no doctor to be like, oh, we have to put you on three medication. We have to put you on this. No, bruh. No, no. Because I used to work with a doctor where the pharmaceutical rep used to come in and they used to buy us lunch and buy you food, take you out to dinner just to sell medication off so that the doctor get the kickback. But you know what? Why not? So I know how that part works. Also, I saw Smiley and I will try to put that at the end of this video. Why I saw Smiley eating pork, raw pork. And if you don't know who Smiley is, Smiley is off a of, um, Zeus, um, bad, bad Girls East, Bad is East. The white girl that supposedly had the seizures, the seizure in um, Jamaica. You know what? Again, people be playing different games, Russian roulette with their life. I didn't eat pork since I we did a experiment in back home in elementary school. I don't eat pork. You can't give me pork. I'm not playing with it. Plus, that's raw. You know, some meat like pork, depending on the heat, it still don't kill the the spores that are in there. Like certain parasites still lives in it when you even cook it. Bitch, please. I don't even think everybody can know how to cook. That's my biggest pet peeve. Everybody don't know how to cook. This girl sitting and attention is a hell of a drug. And I wish people would step away from that. Why would you eat raw pork meat? I bet you she has all kind of parasites living inside and up her butthole and everywhere else. But like I said, to each is their own. But I want to talk about that. I'll add some clips at the end of my commentary. You know how I do. Comment, like, share. Please start hitting the like button and share. And I'll talk to you in the next one. And again, I have questions. I'm not saying nobody's wrong with the rotten thing. I don't, uh, I don't know. I'm just saying I have questions. Mm, what need to get on it? They need to pull her paperwork. They have attorneys. They got big attorneys that they pay big bucks. They could get anything they want. I don't care how sealed it is. And they could find out. Because, again, it's California. Money talk and bullshit walk. Until next time, I'll see you in the comments. Peace. People be thinking I be crazy. This the best way to eat your meat. My second pregnancy, I went into labor early. Mm -hmm. And being in the hospital, and I told the nurse there that I was having contractions. And she looked at the machine and she said, no, you aren't. Mm -mm. And I said, Yes, I am. <laughs> I've done this before. Go get my doctor. Mm. And luckily, standing up for myself in that moment, my daughter is here now. Because mm -hmm. she went to get my doctor. My doctor said, oh, you're six centimeters dilated. Now we have to do an emergency C-section. Wow. Uh, but because I was so small, it wasn't showing up on the machine. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, I didn't really recognize when people weren't listening to me because I was young, mm -hmm. um, because I'm black, mm -hmm. and because I'm a woman. I